Greetings, Facebook and other social media friends. This is Corby with an Uber uplifting thought. A uh, little idea I'm trying out as I'm driving around for Uber and Lyft, taking people from A to B. Um, about a month ago, within the last month, uh, I had this crack in my lip that I don't think you can see. I won't get in too close because I might have bad breath. But any kind of you know crack in your lip, it takes a long time to heal because anytime you open your mouth to eat, which I do a lot, or yawn, or talk, or laugh out loud, that crack gets reopened and has to restart the healing process and it takes a long, long time. Well, it's driving me crazy forever. I'm putting stuff on it when I think of it and I'm driving and I get the little stick of lip stuff and try to keep it on there every time it opens up. Uh, well, it was yesterday or today, I noticed that um, I noticed that I didn't notice it. I noticed that I didn't think of it because it had healed itself. And I thought, well, that's that's kind of a cool idea. When when you get healed of something, let's say you've you've been hurt by somebody or something or some place uh, a long, long time ago, a big hurt, a relatively small hurt, um, you find yourself thinking about it a lot. It takes up all of your thoughts. It's a major distraction. And maybe every time you do a particular thing, you do something that reopens or recracks that wound. Well, God can certainly heal. God does heal. Um, sometimes he heals, um, you know, when you come to God boldly to the throne of grace, like Hebrews 4 talks about, and you lay whatever that hurt is at God's feet, and he gives you the grace to let it go, and it's gone, and you're you're healed of it. It's Sometimes it's instant. Uh, other times... It's something that you're just always thinking on, you're always chewing on, it's always bugging you, it's always bothering you, and it's just always nagging you in the back of your head. Um, well, when you finally are able to give that over to God, because God's always willing to take it, and you catch yourself not thinking about it. Maybe it's been a day, maybe it's been a week, uh, but it's like, you know what, I'm not thinking about that thing anymore. That's, I think, when you've been healed of that particular hurt. Again, not talking about a physical healing necessarily, the words, an instant thing. Although I guess it could apply to a, to a physical healing, like, a, you know, uh, you get healed miraculously or you get healed through the doctor or who knows how. But think about that. The moment you stop thinking about the thing, the moment it stops dominating your thoughts, the moment it stops dominating your mental energy and your heart energy, that's when you've really been healed of the thing. Now, the temptation might be to then go, okay, I'm going to work really hard to not think about this thing. You're, you're after that particular goal. If you, you, maybe you think, if, if I can not think of it, I'll be healed of it. Well, you, you've got it backwards. You know you're healed of it when you stop thinking about it. That happens through other means. So it's because, think about it, you can't not think of something. When you, when you, you can't think about not thinking about the thing because then you're thinking about the thing. It's like saying, don't think about the color purple. You're thinking of purple. So, well, don't think of purple. Well, then you're thinking about it anyway. The point is, um, I hope, take some time, ask the question, is there something that I've stopped thinking about? I'm, I've, I'm consciously, I know now, I'm noticing now that I'm not thinking about it. Give thanks to God for that thing. Because it's really important to give thanks to God when he does something. So maybe you've been healed of something and you've forgotten about it. You don't even know that you've been healed of it. You need to recognize that. Now, that doesn't mean you go back into that headspace of where the hurt was. It means you can now look back at it from the outside or it's outside of you and say, Thank you, God, for healing me of that thing. So, yeah, take a few moments before you go to bed tonight or whenever you see this and pray and say, okay, God, is there something I've not thanked you for? Is there something that I have forgotten about that, I've, that I'm healed of that I didn't even know I wasn't healed of that I need to be thankful for? Um, thank you guys for joining this live. This is my first time trying this. Uh, go back and watch it. Add some comments. Share it on your Facebook and other social media. And as I have more of these little um, moments as I'm driving around these uber uplifting thoughts, uh, I will pull over somewhere and uh, try to get it out in this form. So thank you guys. Catch you later. Bye-bye.